everyone, and welcome to this webinar on Azure SQL databases with ER Studio. My name is Anil Mahadev, and I'll be your presenter for this session. A few, a few housekeeping uh, rules here. Uh, if you can see any, if you have any questions, please uh, go ahead and and put your questions in the in the questions uh, panel. And uh, also, this session is being recorded, so it will be available for you once you have uh, uh, registered. I just would like a quick show of hands if you're able to hear me and view the screen, please. You can click on the hand button, show hand button, so that I can know that you're able to see the screen and hear me clearly, please. Thank you. Awesome. So just to give you an overview, today's session will cover the Azure SQL's SQL uh, database, which is a, a PaaS offering and uh, a platform as a service. And uh, I'm super excited to be showing you how we can go ahead and reverse engineer um, a database from Azure SQL. And uh, we will also be exploring some of the features that are specific to Azure SQL within Data Architect, uh, creating a few models, modifying them, and then show, uh, generating the DDL for them. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you'll do is to you'll go to File New. And here you're presented with the screen, which you can see as a relational data model. And then you have the option to reverse engineer into an existing database. What I would like to demonstrate first is to actually go ahead and show how you can go ahead and create a Azure SQL uh, DB, uh, the manual uh, way. And then we have the option to show you how you can go ahead and reverse engineer an existing database. And finally, we'll go ahead and generate uh, the DDL from that reverse engineered database and show you how it works. And we'll generate a report. And from there, uh, we'll keep some time for uh, Q&A. So now I'll go ahead and drag and drop two entities here. And then here, one of the cool things about a data architect is that it's very highly standardized. So you can actually go ahead and add a project name here. So if I just double click on this, I'll just call it as Azure SQL Webinar. Here I can just give my name. There you go. So now that we have this, now I can go ahead and double click on the entity one. And here I can choose to be the department table. Let's call it department number, enter primary key. There you go. And then now I'll just add an employee table. So here, once it's loading, give me one second here. Let me go and open up another window here. Give me one second. Okay, there we go. So now I have this here. So now uh, what I can do is I can actually call this as as employee, and here I'll go ahead and add the employee number, enter a primary key, employee name, and location. Good, excellent. Now what we can do is I'll go ahead and establish a relationship between these two, and then we'll go into the ribbon bar and we'll choose identifying relationship, and I'll highlight the department number on left, and then I'll I'll, I'll left click on on the employee entity and there you go I have my relationship established next what I'll do is I'll go ahead and save this and now what I can do is I can right click on here and choose generate fiscal model 
And here we'll be generating Azure SQL database. So here under the platforms, and this comes as part of a multi-platform license or a single platform Azure SQL uh, DB license. So here I have the multi-platform. So here I can choose Microsoft SQL, Azure SQL DB. And here I can choose next. Here I'm asked on how I would like my keys to be. And since we don't have any other objects, we can enforce a naming standards template so we can do that as well. And then here we can go ahead and hit finish. And there you go. So here's how you would go ahead and, and look at a uh, Azure SQL a DB uh, once it's generated into physical data model and here's the DDL. Next, let's take a look at how we can reverse engineer from an existing Azure SQL database. Now, a couple of points here I want to stress on is um, in your Azure portal, as soon as you spin up an Azure SQL database, you are required to grant the client firewall to be able to communicate with the Azure SQL database service. So with that in mind, I've gone ahead and done that in advance. And then I'm just going to go ahead log in. Next, I'll go ahead and choose my database in question. And I have the option to choose the schema. So here I'll pick the sales LT schema. And I'll choose next. Here you can see I have all of the objects being listed. So that's there. Next, I'll, I'll go ahead and choose if I need to infer primary keys, foreign keys. So I know this has already been design, but if it's not, you can go ahead and, and choose that option. So here we are, uh, we're actually uh, commencing the reverse engineering process. And then once that is done, you should be able to go ahead and look at the results set here in just a minute. It will go ahead and generate a logical data model and then a physical data model here as well. So now it's done. And there you go. So then I like to keep my diagrams nice and organized. So I'll choose a hierarchical model. So here there you go. You can always zoom in and zoom out like this with your mouse wheel with control, mouse forward, etc. So and you can navigate. And with the overview, that also helps you to navigate here where you need to be. Okay, so far so good. So this at the logical level, then at the physical model level. Can do the same. Here I'll choose a different one and um, go ahead and double click on the products table. And here you can see there's the DDL that's been customized. So now that we've done this, you can do one of two things. One is you can either use the compare and merge utility to make changes on how you work with it. The other option is to actually go ahead and generate a database with within Azure SQL. You can do that here as well. In my case, I just want to generate a, a SQL file. So I'll go ahead and generate a SQL file here, put it on the desktop. And then from there, I can actually go ahead and choose if I want to create a database. I can choose my SQL preview, send this DDL code off to my developers, and I'm off to the races. So that was how easy it was to do a simple, regular generation of uh, the uh, data model, and then also how to showcase a reverse engineer of the data model. So now let's uh, take this to the next level. So I'm going to go ahead and generate a report. Here I can choose either an HTML report or an RTF report, and I'll choose HTML. Here I can go ahead and choose any of these. Choose next. Select these for the images. Let's go ahead and create it. So here we go. It's going to go ahead and show us all of the images. Here we go. Then I'll choose my entities. You can see all of them here, including the keys, the relationships. This is at the physical data model. And click on this. There you go. Okay. 
Now let's take this to the next level in terms of utilizing our macros where we can actually go ahead and generate um, an actual script. Um, basically all the metadata. So now I'll go ahead and export this model to Excel. And there we go. So now I'll just say, now let me go ahead and show you this here. This is how it generated the template. And if you're seeing below, going ahead and, and generating all of this metadata information for us. So that was how easy it was to generate from a basic non-existent Azure SQL database from scratch, from reverse engineering, uh, generating a HTML report, and going ahead and exporting the metadata to an Excel spreadsheet. Anybody has any questions, please? Please type it in the Q&A box and I'm happy to answer them. So did this short webinar make sense uh, for you all? Can I just get a, uh, a set of hands being raised? And uh, if you can just, uh, and would you like another future webinar on a different database platform that we would like to showcase, please? Awesome. So yeah, uh, uh, we appreciate the feedback. So whenever you get that email with that uh, recording, uh, feedback is very important to us. And uh, we strive to improve upon each webinar. And we appreciate some of you as our customers and, and future uh, customers. So here, okay, can you show how to denormalize? The topic for uh, today is just on Azure SQL, but uh, I can, uh, we can have this question answered for you. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take this and we'll send you a, a response. Yeah, uh, Fred, yeah, Faisal, sorry. And then um, anybody else have any other questions? Okay, well, if nobody has any other questions, I'll give you back 15 minutes of your day. And then thank you so much for joining us today. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.